Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. We are going to focus on making thumbnails, making eye-catching thumbnails in particular. This is going to be a follow-up video to my um, other thumbnail video I have for making thumbnails with Photoshop. Feel free to check that out. But yeah, this is going to be a follow-up. Video. Okay, so what we'll need is a thumbnail uh, image that we find using Google. Um, our main image that we use for, in my case, I have an image that I use every single video, which is this image you're seeing on screen right now, but you don't always have an already made image in which case you can just download an image off the internet. What I'm going to do for the purpose of this tutorial though, I'm going to actually cheeky, um, cheekily bit blend this a little bit, okay? Let's call it a shortcut, okay? That way, that's still technically visible for the aesthetic, which is why it's around, if I'm being perfectly honest. The aesthetic, actually, we could do one better. So, we will click on it, and since I um, imported it, it's a smart object. So since it's a smart object that will let us go to file, let's go to whatever effect we want. In this case, I want Gaussian blur. And, you know, let's just blur it a bit. Not that much. You know, we want to blur it so, you know, it gives a little bit of flavor, but not necessarily early super revealing. I like that there. That's actually pretty good. So this is before, this is after. So yeah, I'm actually going to go with that here. And then what we will want to do, we want to go to our font, okay? So this is very important. We're going to Go ahead and use this first font right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put thumbnail. Then I'm going to copy this um, right here by hitting Control J or Command J if you're on Mac. Go ahead and put the word tutorial here. Go ahead, drag this down a bit, so it is right here, thumbnail tutorial. Okay, and then we will do that there. We will go ahead, hold control or command if you're on Mac, select both of those, and then, you know, just play around with it till we find something the way we want. If you hold control or command if you're on Mac, you can actually play around with the, you know, things here till you find something you think might be a little cool. Um, let's go ahead and bring this out a bit more. And there, I think that right there will make it pop a bit. This is going to be the thumbnail for the beginning of this video, actually. It's going to be the thumbnail that you clicked on. Okay, so now that we got that, we want to add a bit of flair to it. As you can see, I added some layer by the fact that this is a gradient. I have a gradient overlay here. The gradient overlay is fine and dandy. 
What would really add some flair, though, is if it had, like, a small outer glow, possibly, that would be... Actually, you know what? We are not going to go with an uh, outer glow. We're going to go with a small stroke. Copy this style and then just paste it here. So now the thumbnail just have that little added touch. And to make matters a little bit better, what we're going to do is we're going to use a custom character, okay? Now you can actually download any character you want. If you want to download a specific character, Usually, what's popular at the time actually does the trick, okay? So, for the purposes of this, we're going to... Eh, we'll keep the glow effect. We're going to move our character to be a little bit more over here, which means, of course, that we want to... Make our character a little bit smaller, okay? Get a little more in there with our character. But we want our character to be the main focus, okay? So we will go back to the thumbnail, tutorial. We will just select both of them by holding control or command. And then... You can either hit Control T or you can just click on one of these and that will pull up that. So we can make this a little smaller as needed. Uh, maybe a little too small we made it. So there we go. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. And then... You know, so it doesn't look too small. We will actually make this character a little bit bigger. That's, that's almost perfect the way I like it. We might go back to this image and actually add something for our own personal want. So if we go back to this image, we can actually add a bit of, uh, maybe texture. We can choose what texture we want. Yeah, the texture's fine. Not this, but this. The texture's fine. We can actually play around with the scale and uh, depth a little bit. Okay, there we go. I think that it's actually turning out real good. It had some extra life added, but here's the final touch, okay? This is the final touch. It is going to be the je ne sais quoi, the thing that brings it out the most. We are going to create a new layer, okay? We're going to call this layer Glow, okay? That's the reason we're going to call it Glow. And then we are going to click on this color thing. And for the purpose of this, we will go with this color, okay? This color is, eh, actually, let's go with this color. I like it a bit better. So, yeah, after we select our color, we hit OK, and then we go to our brush. If it's not available here, just right-click on the pen tool, select brush, and then we actually want to make the brush size a wee bit smaller and we want to make sure that the hardness is set to zero percent okay 
very important that we do that. Make sure you're on your glow layer. And then after that, just, you know, just, you know, create along the edge of um, the character the way you want. We're not going to do this part out here because, you know, we want it to stay a bit fancy. Going to keep on going here. Doesn't matter if you mess up a little bit. You can either correct it to perfection or, you know, just not worry about it at all. Okay, so now that we got him highlighted the way we want, we go up here and we go to screen, okay? Yes, screen, and that will make him the basic glow. Now, ideally, you'd want to turn the opacity down a bit, you know, to just give him some sort of glow, not too much, not too little. You can also play around with it. You don't go with just screen. Like if you only go with color dodge, go with color dodge. I think we are going to go with color dodge for the purpose of this. But, you know, like I said, play around, find, you know, what suits you best. Now, this may not seem like it's the most eye-catching in the world, but I can assure you this is going to be eye-catching because of the simple fact that this is a thumbnail that you know, people will know what it is. It's straight, it's to the point. And let's say, for example, you decide you're not feeling the stroke. Because, I'll be honest, I'm not really sure on the stroke myself. So, you can change the stroke to a different color or just remove the stroke all together. So yeah, actually, you know what, I'm feeling this bevel and embroidery a lot more than the stroke. So what we're going to do is we're going to change both of them, but we're going to go our easy way. We're going to copy the layer style, and then we are going to paste the layer style. Right there, so it changes it right then and there. We have the thumbnail, it's about good to go. Say we want to add a glow. I'll show you guys a cheap trick, okay, to add an outer glow. The cheap trick is hold command or control, put this here, right click, go to group them, okay? Well, you don't even have to right click. You can actually just go down here to group. It will turn them into a group. Now, they still appear, but in the group, the brilliance of that, because now we can add stuff to the group and it will add it to both of them. So if we want to do an outer glow, if we want to do a drop shadow, we do not want to do a drop shadow. Maybe we want to do a drop shadow, but not a global. And we don't want it to be, we don't want it to be too much. We want it to be here. We want it to not be here. We want the distance to be a little bit here. But we want the opacity to be like, way down so it looks like an actual drop shadow and as you see it's applying it to both of them i don't even have to go in individually it's just applying it to both of them and let's say for example purposes we want this to be this color okay plain and simple 
there we go with that and this is the thumbnail tutorial i'm actually going to end it here the video went quite a bit longer than i thought if you guys enjoyed this tutorial or found it helpful in some way shape or form let me know comment section below and with that said i will catch you guys in the future later mm -hmm.